welcome to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, Trance is with me, and he did not have to suffer through the last three episodes. Hello. So we're continuing our runs. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, shut up, you. So, uh, no, damn. Okay, so one <laughs> of the things we're trying to struggle with is, uh, getting set up for good runs. Uh, Trance, you haven't seen it, but the game has been especially dickish the past couple of runs. Uh, especially, like, pulling off some stupid bullshit, like, uh, you know, four stupid jumps in a row, or, uh, actually, especially, the one that's been problematic has been, um, us getting no real weapon or no useful weapon uh, by the time we reach about Sector 3 and then having level 3 shields that we have to deal with. It's been especially a, a especially big problem for us. Uh, last episode was a little bit better. Uh, I used uh, one of the things I've learned to use, and I'm going to try not to use it too much this episode unless I get really good options, is if I ever fight against a enemy ship that I know will do no damage to me, like say I have level 2 shields and all it has is a laser and a, uh, and a beam, using fire Then you'll train to... on it. No, just using fire bombs to burn them instead of killing them the normal way because I get more rewards that way. Not necessarily training, because I don't really need training. The thing I'm talking about is abuse the fact that they can't hurt me to fight, to take the time to firebomb, which I normally wouldn't do, because that gives them time to get damage on me. And it does chew through missiles. Well, yeah, but at, like, at this point, I have no real incredible need for missiles. So, there's no problem with me using missiles right now. See, like, this is the dickish thing I'm talking about right here. Sun plus auto scout that has three different weapons, all of which hurt like hell. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try not to do that too much, but if there's an option, I'm definitely going to use it. But uh, in a run where I did that, we were doing really well, and I picked up a breach missile fairly early on, but I ran out of missiles because it was chewing through missiles, and there was nothing I could have done about it. So I was really unable to uh, do much for myself at that point. Something I did learn uh, is that uh, even though the ship meter right up here is grayed out, I'm still able to, up, uh, to upgrade my ship by pressing U instead of trying uh, the, uh, which is the hotkey for that, instead of just simply trying to press the button. I never knew that. That's Neither did I. Cool. I did not know that prior to uh, about, I think it was last episode, uh, the previous episode that I learned that. But what that means is that if you're in an asteroid belt or a sun area and you have a crap ton of uh, of scrap that you need to use, you can still use it even though it looks like the game is telling you no, you can't. Now, what I don't know if this is if this is working as intended. Something tells me it isn't. Something tells me this it's is a bug. Yeah. But now I'm curious. Try hitting it now while you're in I've already tried. I've tried it in the past. It doesn't work. Ah. Oh. Not that there would be much use for it in mid-combat, to be honest. There yeah, is... there would. Nah, I don't see it, or that's just me. Well, no, but I've actually you had... have a big... <laughs> I've had uh, runs in the past. Uh, we took some damage. We did get a ton of fuel missiles and scraps. That was actually worth it. Yeah. Um, I actually have had runs in the past where I have been in major trouble because I had multiple... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've had multiple mul shattered bits during a fucking asteroid field, and you were taking heavy continuous damage. Oh no, it wasn't With that. This. It was in some runs I had multiple like uh, asteroid belts and suns in a row, and I was absolutely unable to upgrade my ship in order to actually make things happen. If I had known then that you press U and you can upgrade your ship, I would have been much happier leaving those areas because I could have upgraded instead of being kind of screwed like that. So, a uh, very, very useful information. Something we also learned last episode, which, honestly, this isn't as much learned as it was something that I actually put into practice, is that even if you have a lot of very, or even if it's a lot of very, very low-grade weapons, like, say, Heavy Pierce, uh, Ion Blast Mark I, um, Burst Laser Mark I, and, you know, maybe a Light Beam. There's a Hermes missile, that's good luck. Uh, even if you have a lot of these really... Low-grade isn't the word I should be using, because it's not the right word for this, but very, very weak weapons, if you have a lot of them, they're gonna do work. 
I had this really nice setup of, it was like heavy pierce, uh, heavy, uh, just a heavy laser, um, a burst laser mark two, and an ion blast. So very, very weak weapons in general. But I was able to take down things with three to four shields just by timing it right because I had so much work in there through. I think the uh, biggest contender for uh, weapon of the year uh, during that particular fight, or that particular series of fights, was uh, probably a hull smasher laser because it just it was two shots instead of just one. And this is rapidly going off the rails because I'm unable to stop these guys or stop these guys' weapons. This is ridiculous. It is going off the rails. Oh no, crazy! That is the train. third time I have missed a shot. That is the third time they've hit a shot. And now I have no evade, so I'm not gonna be able to dodge anything from this point out. Uh, I could. Okay, their weapons have finally gone offline. Uh, I could lose here very easily, though. Very, very easily. Okay, one more shot is all that I need. Let's get you in here too. We gotta stop them from taking out our O2, which is okay. O2 is back online. Their ship is offline. Better. We have kind of this endless fire going on here, though. You two get in here. Okay. I mean, I've only taken nine damage in this uh, in this sector, so it's not as if I've taken this crap ton of damage here. But uh, I've taken a lot more damage than I should have. Let's get you up here. Okay. You two in here as well. Everybody fix this ship. Let the hammers ring. Okay. Nah, uh, that reference should have been let the anvils ring. Damn it. Okay, you go over let here. Let the hammer fall? Nah, it's an Animaniacs reference. Anyways. People are back where they should be. That's a store that I don't care about. Okay, let's go ahead and aid a civilian ship. This... Okay, so this is the type of ship I'm talking about. This is the type of ship that I would want to burn out. Yeah. Ideally, what I want to do is... What, you, what I want to do, the way I like to do this, is to shoot their shields first, because that's a definite place they're going to want to fix. And then drop a firebomb in it there when I know there's a guarantee that there's someone sitting in their wing. I have 30 bombs right now, which is a stupid amount, honestly. So I should be able to do this with relative ease, and knowing that there is a, uh, a mantis in there makes this all the better because he's not gonna fix anything particularly quickly. The only thing is, until I have level two sensors, I gotta kinda track where they're moving. So the guy that was, uh, the mantis who wasn't shields went to the cockpit. I just killed him there. Uh, it looks like they are fixing their shields. There's a guy in here working right now, so I know I can drop a bomb in here. Unfortunately, it's an NG. But what I also know is that NG is going to be working on this right now. Or he should be working on that right now. He's working on this right now. What I do know is he should be low enough in health that if I shoot him once with the heavy pierce, I should be able to kill him. Yep, got him. Okay, fuel, drone parts, scrap. Contact the civilian ship, get some more fuel, drone parts, scrap. Uh, I feel powerful right now. jump to this beacon. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, like, using that, uh, using the firebombs to my advantage and that type of jump. Okay. Uh, board the station, look for survivors. Got a survivor. It's a human. And we got enough scrap to up our engines. Uh, this is actually, so far, this is a really good run to start out with. To attack this automated ship to get the sensor station. Uh, yeah. Okay, so their weapons are offline. Unfortunately, this is not one I can burn out. Otherwise, I would. But... So right now, just sort of taking stock of where we are at the end of the first, uh, first sector. We're at level 4 shields, level 4 uh, engines, and a Hermes missile over what we started with. That's pretty nice so far. Get about 10 scrap from that. Okay, I do have to jump directly to the exit, so I'm not allowed to get one more jump in, unfortunately. 
But, uh, do I want to sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap? That's a really good question. I have 27 missiles right now. Yeah, I think that's that actually... That is tough. Yeah. I think it's safe. I really do. I have to go up the top route here. Uh, it leaves me to 12 missiles. I'm not going to need missiles for the most part for this particular, uh... For this sector. I'll need missiles for the next sector. And I should be able to get a fair amount of missiles in this sector right here. If all goes well. Well, that's kind of ironic. Apparently, I will need a missile here. But hopefully, it'll just be just the one. I cannot believe I ended up taking damage there. Okay, their shields are offline, so I can work on their weapons. Excellent! I cannot believe they are hitting so damn often with all three of their weapons. Or all three shots of each of these weapons. Like, this is a serious... They have 100% accuracy so far, and actually I've missed with two heavy peers so far. There we go. Now they're starting to miss shots. Now I'm starting to hit, hit shots, which is nice. Well, I'm trying to decide if I want to hold on to this scrap or if I want to use it to go into, like, a next-level shield or something like that. It's a really I hard question. I haven't... Well, the past couple of episodes, I've been holding on to my scrap at about this point during this sector in an attempt to get something really nice, like, say, a really powerful weapon, weapons pre-igniter, uh, scrap recovery arm, you know, something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, I'd say holding for now is a wise idea. The only problem with that is that my ship starts to fall behind and upgrade into the next couple of uh, areas, you know, I'm going to start having problems if uh, we're talking about burst laser things like that. Well, if you if you start needing to upgrade, you can always dump on an upgrade. You don't have to. Oh yeah, that's true. But the problem is, but the time I'm going to learn I need an upgrade is the time I'm going to need an upgrade and can no longer upgrade. Well, you never need more than like a hundred and what is it? A hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty for the igniter. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just spend down to one twenty, then you're fine. Well, I've done that before. I mean, it's a strategy I've used before, which is to spend down to exactly how much I need. Now, I will happily sell drone parts and then jump to the store. Okay, store, be nice to me. Show me something beautiful. Uh, door system cloaking and drones. Cloaking's not bad. But I can't afford it. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump to the next jump. I've been seeing a lot of shops with just, like... That stuff right there, actually. That exact setup. Where's this guy? You go fix that. But, like, the exact setup of a couple of drones that I don't want, plus a couple of system upgrades that I have no interest in buying, or no ability to buy, and that was it. I've had nothing else. Uh, no weapons, no uh, weapons pre-igniter, no nothing like that. It's been happening a lot lately. I swear this game goes in cycles. Okay, this ship should be pretty well taken care of at this point. Take out their cockpit again. They should not be able to jump away, which is good. Which I, I should be okay. I'm kind of worried about it. Kind of not worried about it. I know they're trying to fix things. I think they're trying to fix their weapons right now. I really want to get level 2 sensors. And I'm probably actually going to get that after this jump. Because that would be so damn helpful. Okay, got some breach missiles. Breach missiles are actually better than Hermes missiles. They have a much higher uh, wait time. But... Okay, so now I have my level 2 sensors, which I definitely wanted. So I'm happy for that. What am I gonna find here? Okay, see, if I had a weapons pre-igniter on this ship, I'd still be able to do absolutely nothing. But 
uh, if I had a beam weapon or weapons pre-igniter, this would have been an easy achievement right here. I just never seem to have that. Well, weapons pre-igniters are fairly rare. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but I mean, the times that I have them never seem to happen when I have like a fight like this. How do I miss all this? I should probably heal this guy up. Come on. I really need someone to keep track of how often this thing misses. Because I swear to God, it's not, it's it's the heavy pier specifically. It has no accuracy penalties whatsoever. Now, what I want to see is uh, an add-on that tracks enemy misses and hits on you and your hits and misses on enemy specifically in relation to how powerful their engines are. Because I get the feeling your enemies are saying the exact same shit you are. I wouldn't even need it in relation to their engines. I would just want it in general just to see what the numbers are like. Well, the only way to do it at present would be pen and paper. But well, uh, it see. is nice I'm to have the relation the to the engines. I'm playing the game, but I have someone who's watching and has little else to do. Hey, Trance, I got an idea for this. My frame rate's too low. I can't see hits or misses. Damn. Nice try, though. I also want to see what, what the... Uh what the numbers relation is to how often one of my shots intersects their shots because that number needs to be tweaked like in reality it's i, I forget what the i forget what the uh i i knew the um the cha the uh, chances of it before but in reality the chances of it actually happening are almost infinitesimal if i remember correctly but in this game it seems to happen like 10% of the time. And that feels kind of nuts. You know, I might get level three sensors just to see what these guys' uh, engines look like because I have actually missed with this heavy pierce more often than I have hit with it uh, on this right. sector. I think it would be very interesting to see your hit rate show with certain engines. I mean, this is well, getting hit really ridiculous. There we go, finally got another hit in. Uh, on this particular fight, my uh, hit ratio has acted somewhere like 1 in 5. That is a surrender I will take. I will happily take that surrender. Augment stealth weapons. Nice! Mm -hmm. Shame you didn't buy the stone, no, you didn't have enough power for it, but I can buy it later. Yes. And if I oh. can get myself a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If I can get myself a, um... Ion Blast Mark II? Yes. Ion Blast Mark II with stealth weapons plus a big stealth is... <laughs> that is the most dicks thing. Yes. Just the absolute most dicks, end of story, nothing else can compare, that's... It's the type of thing no. this game does to me all the time, why wouldn't I do it back? No, no, the game has never done that to you. No, it does other stuff to me. It hasn't done that exact item to me, but it's done things that are very, very similar. And you know this because you have watched some of them. True. But nothing quite that douche -hole. Oh, whoa, 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 don't even try, Drance. We had an episode recently, like this was not like something that was a while ago, this was an episode recently where my first jump was into an asteroid field against a Zoltan ship with three different weapons and a drone. Or yes, like but at least that death is swift and merciful, not picking you apart at their leisure while keeping your ship fully restrained with an ion blast. You know the game doesn't do that, and you know why? Because it randomly chooses what weapons to use and what targets. It could very easily say, I'm just gonna keep him restrained forever so he can never win nor lose. Actually, I've seen ships do before. Yeah, the final boss. Mm, I've seen it before that. Even then, you could, in theory, lose. You would just have to shut off everything that you have and 
you know, let yourself die by uh, draining out all the crew with manual door opening. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen, uh, we've had jumps before that have jumped into uh, enemies with multiple different, um, uh, right. multiple different ion weapons and cloaking devices. What I'm talking about is them ioning your whole ship, even your door control, so you can't even mercifully vent your crew into space. I actually do not think there is... Oh, god damn it. Okay, where's everybody going? I actually do not think there is enough, um... Or fast enough weapons to do that. Something with four ion blast mark twos? There's not enough power on a ship to do that. You can't even get three. Ion Blast Mark II's only cost one power. Or was it two? No, Ion Blast Mark II's cost three power. That was far less. Nope. The, still, that said, uh, even if it's three power, yeah, there are ships that can afford that. No, max power is eight in two weapon systems. No, 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 no. I am max. Ha, I'm looking at it right now. They do, they are three. Okay, but no, you're incorrect. Max power is eight in, this is important, your weapon systems. That is a legitimate point. <laughs> and again, yeah. I, and again, I point out game cheating bastard. Well, mods have, uh, mods have bypassed it, too. I'm just kind of waiting but, uh, for this Heavy Pierce to at some point become viable again. And by viable, I mean accurate at all. There we go. And that was not a there we go as in my, uh, it's become, uh, viable. That was a there we go as in I got a single hit in. I'm gonna take a lot of damage yep. in a second, aren't I? Yep. Okay, come on, Breach. I need a single Breach on their shields. I like the Breach missile. I actually really do. It's one of the few missiles that I'm always happy to see. Because it, it really hoses them. Hey, I'm going to tear a fucking hole in your ship. And, and do a crap ton do of that. damage. Right, doesn't it... Uh, I thought it dealt low hull damage, but wrecks systems no, crew. No, no, no. Right? That's, that's a Breach bomb. This is a Breach missile. And a breach missile Crap does ton of hull damage. Four, yeah, highest hull damage on missile. It's four damage. I am again not seeing any shots off this uh, heavy pierce. I've actually missed another. Two, oh, actually got one that time. I missed. Uh, again, I'm actually missing more than I'm hitting, which is this is sector three. That's ridiculous. Yeah, TCICD or confirmation yeah. bias or the computer is a cheating confirmation. I don't think I've heard that very before. Okay, so I don't think waffles taste good when smeared with smegma. But you know what? That's just me. Whatever you enjoy for breakfast, Nye, the is your own fuck business. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Better question. The I... fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's what is right with me, and the answer is very little. It's easier to, you know, it's like when my sister got an STD test. All that was written on it in big black ink was the word AIDS. And then handwritten pen to save on ink, since printers are expensive, this is what you don't got. Yeah, it sounds about right. <sighs> the joke is she's a slut. Anyway. Oh, I think people got that. Yes, I know. It's a meta joke, you see. By calling out the joke, it signifies awareness of the joke, which in and of itself is a joke. It's British humor. Trance, you're not funny. No, you just don't understand dry wit. I do, it's my favorite type of humor, you just don't have it. No, 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 no. Your wit is about as dry Yay! as your yes! state, yes! Katrina. Yes. Oh, ooh, long range scanners, nice. That is another really good augment for my ship right now. Yeah, that'll that considering give you a... there's a distress beacon right here that has a ship in it. Come on, come on, damn it. Womp womp. Pretty much. Lots of scrap though. Ooh, yeah, this... Was that two fuel for 37 scrap? Yes. Which that's that is a deal I will make every day. 
Yeah, that, that's a hell of a bargain. Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, we got some Mantis. I need to switch over to the... Uh, I'm going to use a Breach Bomb on this, or a Breach Missile on this one. Uh, chances are I will take a little bit of damage because they have missiles too. And Breaches take a long time to charge up. So I'll probably end up taking two shots from this one. And one shot takes out my missiles. Lovely. Uh, what you can do is... I don't have uh, enough power to do that. I don't have enough uh, weapons power to do that. Yeah, you would have to have... Yeah. Which I can upgrade soon. I'm just trying to save, uh, save up. And wait, how the hell did that happen? I... My bomb Don't. blew up in my own ship as far as I could tell. What? How the hell did that happen? I know, right? That's the question I was asking just now. I still don't know. It could have also have been their bomb. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the latter seems more likely. No, the latter seems like a useful item to get you up and down to really high heights. And that's nice terminal pun for the day. Okay. No, my terminal pun was shooting that guy with a laser. God damn it, Nye. Uh, your argument is invalid. Your hair is a beard. No, my what waffles are sense? purple, and I like ice cream made of bones. What? Actually, the first is a horrifying medical condition, and the second isn't that rare. Not gonna even ask, not gonna even ask. Probably for the best, probably for the best. Yeah, we're gonna leave that alone now. That's what she said. And you stick out like a Caspagarian sea slug in a plutonium shrimp stew. That sounds like a phrase from the old Transformers cartoon. It might be a phrase from the old Transformers cartoon. You know, I think you're right. Okay, let's go ahead and fight these guys. Uh, this is actually, you know, at this point... I can't remember what my, my current count is, but at this point, I have something close to 100 hours of this game on film. Yep. Not to mention more... Crap. Not to mention more hours that never... That from before I actually started recording, and I have never seen this event. Yeah. It just goes to show... The game is... That's act amazing. like, yeah, that, that's really damn impressive. I mean, really damn impressive. Okay, so I'm doing okay. I do need to heal up, and my consumables are really worrying me now. Because I am running out of a lot of things, including, but not limited to, fuel... Hit points. Hit points. Missiles. Scrap. No, I have plenty of scrap, actually. That's actually the one thing I am not running out of right now. I think you've got enough to get your level 3 shields. Uh, I have level 3 shields. Like I said, you're level 4 engines. Uh, actually, what I have enough for is that store right there. Or that. I like stores. Stores are good. I'm gonna go back to this. They're full of first. waffles. Okay, what's at this beacon? Show me something nice. Uh, absolutely nothing. Store, please. We are in, in, in uh, Zoltan Sector, Zoltan Homeworld. Show me the thing I want. Damn. Sell small bombs. Uh, do I want the crew teleporter? Not really. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. God damn it. How many of this type of ship am I going to have to fight? I am getting really tired of freaking Zoltan energy fighters. Especially they are annoying little bastards, huh? When the only weapon I have is a, that I can use right now against their shields is a heavy pierce? Yes. Especially a heavy pierce that misses more often than it hits? Yes. 
Should we start counting? He gets one hit. It's gonna take a while to get, to get an accurate sample size. That's one hit, one miss. Come on, let's go. Two hits, one miss. Okay, let's change over to the Hermes. Or, yeah, let's go full hog. Let's go Preach Bomb. Or Preach Missile. Halfway uh, charged. The good thing is they're, they haven't just an Ion Blast Mark 1, looks like, so they're not taking down my shields. Okay, uh, two hits, two misses. Just waiting patiently, guys. Like, there's nothing I can do right now until this breach uh, missile hits. Uh, okay, three hits, two misses. Waiting for the heavy pierce. Four hits, two misses. Okay, we're we're doing okay on the hits to misses ratio. Five hits, two misses. It's actually getting a little bit better now. I want to bring out a firebomb because I can kill this guy. It's using another missile though, and I'm not sure I'm okay with that. Oh well, I could get a good reward off of this. Five hits, three misses. I was worried about the ratio trans because it seemed like he was being really good to me, and then all of a sudden the game went, wait, 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 sorry, the lever was turned a little bit too far to the left. Five hits, four misses. It's it's evening out again. <laughs> Six hits, four misses. So 60% hit chance right now means they have a 40% dodge chance. Not sure I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and, um... I don't want to do that yet. So let's go to this quest room. What am I going to find here? Attempt to hail them. Uh, reconciliation of our ideals. True progress on BG without bloodshed. Quick, get 39 scrap and a whole smasher laser. Nice! Yeah, I... That is going to be immensely helpful. Because what that means is now I have two weapons online. And I need to have two weapons online. That's actually a requirement for my existence. And this ship is why I need to have two weapons online. With a hole smasher laser and a heavy pierce, I can actually handle up to level three shields. Do that. Fire those two. Now keep in mind, I can only handle level 3 shields if everything hits. And the problem is, they have a uh, Ion Blast Mark II. Still need to hit with everything. That, that, okay, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, my shields are back online. Woo, that was scary. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Yes, their shields are now less online than they were a second ago. And they have a breach. I don't know if the, I don't think the computer cares that they have a breach, but they have a breach. And a swing and a miss. This is gonna take a while. But it's it's not worth using a missile for, that's the thing. Okay. That was another one of those like our our uh, shot impacts theirs some oxygen in the ship again, because that ship is way too red. Yay, they're down to level one shields. Now I feel a little bit less worried. Okay. Swing and a miss, but we are getting there. Uh, there's now a fire in my shield room. You go fix that. I don't know how they got a fire in my shield room. Okay. 
Okay. Can we put that fire out, please? Because now I'm gonna start getting shot. Okay. Amazingly, we took no damage from that fight. But I really deserved to. And again, it's all Trance's fault. I blame gnomes. It is very easy to blame little boogers. I... It's because they're so short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they can't really argue back. Yep. Okay, uh, do I want to buy fuel? Not really. Let's ignore that station. Next sector is going to be a Zoltan-controlled sector, so I still have a chance at this. Actually, I, have a, I still have a chance at both achievements here. Let's go ahead and jump this direction. Uh, hey, look, it's another energy fighter. What's more than that, it's another energy fighter with missiles. One miss. Two hit, one miss. Three hit, one miss. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this up. Uh, four hit, two miss. Five hit, two miss. Red fish, blue fish. One fish, two, yeah. God damn it, Trance. Ah, <laughs> uh, worth it. And now I have to apparently wait for uh, everything to charge up so I can actually get through to them. I really, really, really... God damn it! Really wish I had a cloaking device right now. I need a store for this, but I really, 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 really wish I had a uh, cloaking device right now. Cloaking devices are handy little doodads. Yeah, it would mean I would stop taking such stupid damage here, because I'm taking endless stupid damage while I wait for my weapons to come online. <laughs> yeah, the game does tend to... yeah. I've taken four damage so far in this fight, I have yet to deal any damage to them. There we go. And now I'm going to destroy them. I'm wondering, would it be worth it to start with a more rapid charging weapon, or do you not have any? There wasn't an option on this fight. I had to get rid of their overshields. Yeah. So, like, in so on some missions, it'll be possible for me to do that, but on this, th this thing has overshields, so I can't, you know, I can't do this any faster. Need additional overshields. Must construct additional heavy piercings. Not enough mana! Okay, this, uh... This fight looks like it could worry me, but I do not want to use a missile on this. Because I don't need one. That missed. Maybe the here's here's a better idea. Instead of counting the exact hits and misses, the better idea to figure out the computer's being a bastard is how many times do you miss when you would need it to hit in order to do any. That's hull impossible damage. to quantify. No, in order to do any hull damage, the computer cannot tell need to hit. In order to do any hull damage, oh yes, it can. No, it. For instance, in this fight... There is nothing linking the RNG to shield levels at present. Nothing. Yes, I know. That's there why I don't think it's RNG. That's what I'm saying. But it is... Okay, Nye, this is a crackpot conspiracy theory that you're thinking the game explicitly hates you. It's not at all true. The game's code has been analyzed. The game is completely fair. For a given definition of fair? No, completely fair as in the odds of a hit landing are exactly the same regardless of shield levels. The only thing in the game capable of affecting hit and miss are as follows. Are you in stealth mode? How strong are your engines? Is anyone manning engines or cockpit? These are the only numbers that ever factor into hit or miss. I didn't say it was numbers. If you bring numbers into things, then things get logical, and we can't have that here. Okay, let me rephrase that. 
You're full of shit. The game doesn't hate you specifically. Stop being so fucking paranoid. It's creepy. Says the guy who does the creepy voice. Mm, you annoying. You are loving when I talk to you like this. Yeah, you're gonna stop that right the fuck now. No, so you beg for me to stop. I am no Right the fuck home. now. <laughs> uh, I love that voice so much, and everyone hates it. <laughs> uh. Ow. You go stand in this area. I don't need you to do anything, I just need you to just stand there. Okay. Well, yet another energy fighter fight done. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade engines now. Distress beacon. Come on, baby, show me 11. Nope. That was not an 11. That was not a 7. I don't know what that was, but it was nothing useful. Let's go with a 12B. And none of those are useful either. God damn it. What about the cloaking device? What with your stealth weapons? I know. I'm talking about the augmentations. The one I'm looking for is known oh. as a uh, weapons pre-igniter, and it is not in that list. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, honestly, though, at this point, the stealth is nicer for you than a pre-igniter would be. No, because a stealth does not come with an achievement that leads towards 100% completion that I've been fighting for for the past 87 episodes. Yeah. Well, the mods are always there, happy to help. Though they can't do anything about the pre-igniter, they can Hi. at least aid. Reach bomb mark two. Not bad. I don't think I'm gonna. Well, actually, I can swap it out for the uh, firebomb because I don't need a firebomb. Huh. Reach bomb mark two is pretty much strictly better. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially on something like this. Actually, I oh, actually- hey, you're immune to fire? That's okay. Are you immune to die? I didn't think so. I actually do prefer uh, the breach bomb to the breach missile. It doesn't do any hull damage, but it's a lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. and well, no, it's not. I it find can't it be is. shot down though. It cannot be shot down, since it just warps in. It deals heavy crew damage, and this is important. It's much better at eliminating crew while leaving the ship vaguely intact, for a given definition of the word intact. Oh, you know what's even more important than that? Which means better rewards at the end. You know what's even more important than that? It costs one less power. Uh, oh yeah, that too. It's not that too, it's that. That is, that is, the, that is the major concern here. It only costs two power instead of three, which means without having to upgrade my ship further, I can run Heavy Pierce and the Breach Bomb at the same time. Mm -hmm. And with a little bit more, can you run your, uh, can you run your Hull Smasher with it at the same time? Or? I could, yeah. I could which run all would be three good. if I wanted to. Now, I, I'm never really going to need all three, because I'm never going to need to run Breach Bomb more than once, hopefully. Well, it's good for creeping crew suppressed. Uh, yeah, that is very true. It's bloody lovely at keeping crew suppressed, it is. Right. Watch, that store has a uh, weapons pre igniter. How did they teleport in? There is no freaking crew teleporter on that ship. Uh, they had a sub ship with a teleporter. I don't care if you're goddamn logic, give me results. Actually, that's nice. So, you know what? You and you... That ship is clearly shaped to dock with another ship. They're not docked, though. Yes, because they detached the other ship with their teleporter in it. So they could teleport without you realizing they had a teleporter. Okay, my shields are gonna take damage here. There's, uh, there's no getting around that. Yep. Good news is, I do not intend for them to get any damage on me from this point out. No, the good news is you just saved a bunch of money on your ship insurance by switching to Space Gecko. That's also very true. 
you get in there, you get in there, and you get in there. You and you go heal up. Wow, I should have timed that better. Take the breach bomb offline, put that into the hull laser, put my engines up to full. You need to get the fuck out of that room, though you're probably gonna die. Nope, the fact that he lived is amazing. Hey, NG, I know you suck at fighting and everything, but would you mind going and fighting for a lost cause? fight I have to run. What? Oh, right. These guys can't teleport out. Because there's no teleporter on that ship. Yep. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It just means this is going to take... They were just hoping to zip in and murder you all. It just means this is going to take a lot longer. I'm just trying to slowly wear them down. And the problem is, I'm just trading crew members back and forth, and it's not working amazingly well, but I'm getting a little bit of damage in at a time. Okay, this guy should be able to do some work. Yes, I'm aware of that, thank you. Uh, basically, I'm taking one hull damage, whether I like it or not. No! God damn it! I had him out of that room! Did you just lose? Wow. A crew member who had a lot more health than they the game would like me to believe. You leave that room. Because I'm not letting you die too. Okay, I'm finally done. I have killed everything. Actually, you get back in that room because you guys got to fix that. You get in that room because you have to fix that, and you get out. I'm... Like, I cannot believe I lost a crew member for that, because that was... There's no reason I should have lost a crew member there. You go fix. Okay, well, Charlie, I guess you're going to be working on this from this point out. Uh, who are you? You are, Oh, no, you're my shields guy. Okay, who did I lose? I lost my engines, dude. Okay, well, that's where the... Uh, NG's going to go, then. Okay, how much power do I need? I need one power in order to get shields fully online. Okay. Uh, let's hit this distress beacon. Which is... Oh, God, why would it do... Okay, long-range scanner's out. Automated reloader in. Yeah, auto reloaders are nice. Yeah, it's like I can't make that choice. You know, I can't keep the long-range scanners. One of the craziest things I've ever seen was uh, someone managed to get three auto reloaders and uh, two ion blast Mark IIs. Yeah, though I think at some point they they uh, diminishing returns means it doesn't do as good as you think it would. No, it does exactly as good as you think it would. There's no diminishing returns here. There is because it's it a percentage is a redu reduction. There's that's the definition of. Uh, no, 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 no. The diminishing returns, the definition of diminishing returns is the more percentage you put in, the less effect you get. For example, uh, you put in the first, let's say uh, the first five points you put in get you a uh, 2% chance each, then the next five get you 1% chance each. So with uh, 10 points, you're only at 15 rather than 20. That's diminishing returns. In this case, they gave a uh, flat 45% decrease in charge time, which means no diminishing returns exist. I was pretty it just fucking. I'm worked. pretty sure they're not additive. I thought they were uh, multiplicative. That is, one applies. They're and additive. additive. Are you sure? They are additive. Huh. They multiple of that are strictly additive. Weird. You're not intended to get multiple, but it can happen. And they are strictly and exclusively additive. This is really depressing. If I had actually gotten the Crystal Crew member, here's the Rock Overlands. Ouch. Oh, and watch. Here here comes... Wait, where's the Distress Beacon? Because I know it's here. It's gonna be here. You know the Crystal Stasis Pod's gonna show up at some point. Dodge that. Uh, hull laser. 
Heavy pierced, shields, excellent. I'm gonna take damage off the next shot from that missile, and there's not really much I'm gonna be able to do about it, but... Or not. That's cool. I am okay with being wrong on this instance. Now, only on this instance. You can never... I'm never gonna be allowed to be... You, you can't make me wrong any, any other time, but... I did end up taking damage from that anyway, so I guess I was right anyways. I don't want to be right about that, because that means I got, like, severely damaged, but... Okay, what do I want to upgrade right now? Or do I want to hold out for, again, a weapons pre-igniter in some sort of store? Hey, we got an incoming teleport. Woo. Are yeah, you fighting there? And you fight in there. Actually, you leave. Damn it, missed. I hate fights like this. There we go again. Ow. Damn it, come on! Oh, whoops. There we go, I finally got a hit in. You go fix that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time actually getting a hit in on this guy. Finally! I mean, that's not the first hit I've had on him, but... Come on! He's had plenty of hits on me. And with the sheer dodge chance I'm supposed to have... I don't think there's any possible way he's got a better dodge chance than me, so... Okay, there goes shields. There goes weapon... No, there, his weapons are still completely online. Sure. There we go. Come on. Can you die already? You are staying alive for a way too long. Actually, I will accept that surrender. That's a surrender I can accept. You two go heal. Store. Come on, weapons pre-igniter. Damn it, come on! Get rid of the firebombs. At this point, do I really need the rock plating? Nah. I mean, what would I replace it with, though, is the question. Nothing, really. Realistically, I would rather have that. But, <laughs> there's another store right there. Man, I really need to look at the map before I do that. Ow! This ship. This is gonna hurt like hell. Damn it. I keep on missing when that hit would deal whole damage. There we go, finally. Big missile still gonna fire. Here it comes. Yay, that missed. They're working really hard to get their weapons back online. I really wish they wouldn't, because that makes my life harder. There we go. They still have the scariest weapon online. I mean, yeah, I have a cloaking device specifically for that weapon, but still. I will again take that deal. Get my missiles back up to spec here. Uh, strip this ship, get attacked. But that's cool. This is not a ship I care about. Like, this ship does not scare me. The previous ship scared me. This ship, eh. Could be worse, it could be spiders. 
Imagine a ship full of spiders constructed entirely out of spiders with guns that shot spiders and a missile, or rather a bomb, that was actually a spider egg casing. Trance, <laughs> imagine a ship constructed entirely of additional pylons. Oh, yeah, that's called every Protoss ship ever. No, Protoss ships don't give you additional pylons. If they did, they'd they be do. the most they broken the ships out. ever. You mean like Zerg? Zerg ships don't give you additional pylons. What the hell are you talking about? No, Zerg ships are pylons. No, they aren't. What the they're hell Starcraft are, are you playing? Overlords are pylons. Overlords are very much the equivalent of pylons. Yes, but they're not ships. They just happen to stand around and do I nothing. Thought they... I thought they, uh... uh... I'm thinking Starcraft 1 where overlords could fly and do moderate damage. No, overlords cannot do damage. At best, they're a transport. At best. Yeah, but they're still mobile, so they're still ships. I'm not sure I agree with you there. I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one. Okay, it flies? Yes. It contains smaller things? Yes. It moves around? Yes. It's a fucking ship. A ship, or vessel, is a object, an object, that contains other things, and it picks them up and puts them down elsewhere. Just like the Overlord. Does that mean my mom a is a ship? Does she contain the things within her? I want you to think about that question very carefully before we... And the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, she is. Especially by the definition of ship where I'm given, whereas all the Protoss ships are biological units. Not Protoss, Zerg, sorry. All Zerg ships are biological units. To say it's not a ship would be to say, well, fine, but you're splitting hairs. Okay, it's not a ship that's a pylon. It's a hovering biological ship-like entity. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me, the, give me the result. Give me the result. Can I jump before I actually get hit with this fire? No. Okay. Come on. God damn it. I'm getting every augment except for the one I want. Maybe another reloader, though. That would be nice. Rock plating out. Reloader in. There you go. Now you're charging with fucking fury. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Okay, what I need is something to replace that breach bomb. Uh, that breach missile, though, because I'm not going to use that now. I don't know what I... I mean, a beam is... Ideally, what I would get at this point. I don't really like beams. They give me gas. Let's jump out here. Send a way party to investigate. Get a quest marker. Sure. Distress beacon. Why the fuck not? And here comes the crystal stasis pod. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a survivor. It's another rock. That is better than the Crystal Stasis Pod, because then I just would have had to, like, throw something. More rocks are nice. Rocks are really handy to have. Well, I'm getting You could really... say they rock, but you shouldn't. Because then you'd be making a Nye class pun, and it'd have to shoot you I like with a nail puns. gun. Your puns are bad, and you should feel bad. And I'm sure there are people out there who like my puns. Yes. And these are called bastards. Hear that, folks? Only a he bastard. called you a bastard. That's okay. I can call you one because I am one myself. My father and mother were not married at the time. It was raped. You hear that? He thinks you're an idiot. Kill him. What's that, Nine? Send you a package of aerosolized cashews for your birthday? Grant, the no. joke isn't good if no one gets it. Nye is fatally allergic to nuts. The irony being, no, no, I'm not making that joke. Well, I am ever so slightly insane. And... You see, I was going to make a gay joke, but no, you had to bring it to the mental illness. Way to be politically correct, Nye. I... 
Fuck it, I don't care about being politically correct. Anyways. Trans are playing a game where I'm I'm racist every so often because I really don't like humans in this game. So, politically correctness, I mean... That's not racism. Totally is. No, it, racism would be I don't like the darker colored humans. You're speciesist. Sure. You we'll, don't like the human species. We'll go with that. How does it go? Racism. I don't like cats. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, because that's exactly Racism. what I'm doing. I don't like Sphinx cats. They have no fur and annoy me. Speciesism. I just don't like cats in general. Ah, uh, what was the last one? Racism, speciesism, and anti-socialism. Or psychotic anti-socialism. I don't like living things. I must end them. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at most of the time, actually. Especially at the end of FTL runs. Yeah, because the game hates you. It hates you with a Wait, passion. Wait, aren't you the same that is... one that earlier on said there's no way the game could hate me and I was being a conspiracy theorist? Oh no, let me rephrase that. The game itself cannot hate you. It is incapable of hate, as it has no code for such. The game cannot feel emotions. However, the game seems to hate you, because you are bad at the game. I just got borders out of that room. Like, literally not a minute and a half ago. I'm just gonna dodge that. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, are you guys dead yet? No, this guy's losing. Let's get him healed up real quick. Okay, both of you can heal up. Man, I love it when they teleport back and they all rush to the place that I'm shooting relentlessly. Mm -hmm. That's just pleasant. That makes me happy. In my pants. Oh, yeah, baby! Fuel 6, missiles 5? No. I'm getting a lot of these really big fuel missile surrenders, though. okay with downgrading the fuel and the missiles in favor of getting a lot more scrap. Okay, is that shield? No, you go fix that. Don't need this. Put that to that. There's a quest marker way the hell over there. Not sure if I'm actually going to go to that, though. Oh, definitely approach this radar station. Oh, definitely. See, here you go, Trance. There you go. Two, uh, two ion weapons, a beam weapon, and a cloaking device. Walk into a bar. Pretty much. Wow. Ah, oh my. Are you kidding? That is a, that is a thing? Holy damn. What? Um, you know how, you know how heavy ion deals exactly like 20 seconds worth of ion damage and takes down like one entire shield, but that's it. It doesn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. If you get two of them, the stacks are the uh, effects multiply. Yeah, which is brutal. God damn it! Breach bomb land. It's why the twin heavy ion with three automatic reloaders ship was capable of utterly crippling because you could ion down the entire ship and they could never recover. No, 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 Trans, this is, this is heavy ion. This is heavy ion, not uh, uh, ion burst mark two. All ion damage functions identically. I know, but this one fu is a little bit harder hitting than the other ones. Finally got Right, damage. but the others are far more rapid. But don't do as, don't do as so, lasting damage. Right, but again, with ultra rapid fire, one second, two set, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Your host. If I remember correctly, heavy ions—the fastest they can get is like five seconds, 
four seconds? No, they can't get that fast. This thing's on about a 13 second uh, cycle. But I can't. Yeah. But, but remember, it's unmanned, which means it doesn't get the. Right. They go down to about 10 seconds with full manning and multiple. Whereas Ion Blast Mark II's start with a four second cooldown. And rapid. Generally, and it, yeah. it goes to about a second each. And with two of them, that's, you know. You set them to alternate, not synchronize, so it's every half second, you know, do 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 and your host. Damn it, game, I know you hate me, but could you give me the freaking item I want, please? No! Oh, oh, you heard it. No, I, oh, I heard it loud and one. clear. You had a very trance-like voice, which means I'm very likely to transpose my hatred of the game onto you. That's okay. Everyone hates me. That's why I have no friends. This makes complete and utter sense, too. Let's see, send that in, contact the survivors, get an FTL recharge booster that I do not want. Just drop that. My little trancy friendship is tragic. It would be if you had any. See, what I understand. If you get a double... I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Oh, come on, you knew it was uh, coming. That's what she said. No, because if that's what she said, it, it's not a premature ejaculation joke. That's, oh god. That's, it's one of those fights. Viewers, I do believe I've won now. I just got Nye to say the words premature ejaculation on video. And we all know Nye is too lazy to bleep that. This may change, this may change. And if it does, it's all your fault. So I have either forced Nye to learn how to bleep, or made Nye say premature ejaculation on video. I have won this LP channel. Good day. While you're busy winning, can you please make it so these assholes get the fuck off my ship? Nope. You need to get the fuck out. Okay, you need to leave that room. Thank you. Oh, uh, god damn it! <sighs> you need to get down here and fix that. You need to leave that room. I was paying more attention to keep my keeping my crew members alive than I was to uh, their missile, which completely took out my um, they completely trashed my weapons. Okay, come on, kill a couple guys. There's one down. You get in here. You get out of here and go heal up. Dodge this one, because I actually saw it coming. Oh, God. That guy's dead, so I got another one down. God, they're finally, they're all gone. No, damn it, I didn't even... Son of a bitch. You get in here. Damn it, I lost a crew member there. And, I, like, I'm doing particularly badly because of some of this stuff. Some of these five, uh, like, roaming crew members, really? That's dicks. It's like, how, how do you deal with that? I don't know. The answer is you don't. The game is dicks. Back in that room as fast as humanly possible, if not faster. You're a rock, so you should be faster than that. Heavy Pierce. And dodge that crap. Who are you? Shields, get in here. Get my ship back online very slowly, but it's happening.
very slowly, but it is happening. We are not gonna die here. This isn't how I go. You get back down here. You get out of that room. Damn it, come on! Damn it, and now they just... They keep on getting their shields up just before I'm able to do any real lasting damage because I had to focus so much on my ship. Not accepting surrender. You fuckers are gonna die. All of you. I told you. Okay. Missiles, scrap, lost Ninji. I'm not sure if that was net gain or not. Okay. Let's go back all on the back end, and we should be able to make it to the exit without too much trouble. Aid Federation ship. Oh god, it's a drone Mark II. We have exactly this is turning into another feature length episode, isn't it? Yeah, they usually are when I get to about this point. I mean, these typically reach feature length pretty, uh, pretty easily. Okay, come on, Heavy Pierce. I need you to take down that thing fast. Okay, hull laser, take down that as fast as possible. As long as I can keep their shields offline, I should be fine. And that seems to be exactly how it's happening. Come on. Come on. Excellent. Heavy pierce. Awesome. Their shields are not coming back online. I win. Whew. That was close. Contact Federation ship. Rescue crew. Get crew member who happens to be an NG. Who looks exactly like and is named the same as the one I just lost. Okay, half of that was uh, false. Hey, look. It's a Zoltan. That's useful. What do I want to upgrade then? <laughs> Well, I want to hit that store first. I want to see what the store has. So I'm not going to upgrade anything right now, but I do have, right now, max uh, everything. Or max uh, engines and max shields. I usually don't even have that by this point in the game. Breach bomb. Land, please. Excellent. Heavy pierce. Land. Excellent. Okay. I should be able to ruin their ship given enough luck, which I'm barely not getting. Ah, damn. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just drop another breach bomb into that spot right there. And that should fix that problem. But I'll miss it first. Okay. Annoying. Figured. You get in there. You get in there. Damn it! They have too many goddamn guys repairing that thing for me to keep it down for any serious length of time. Wow? No, like bad. Like they have five freaking people repairing no, I, I that know. thing. Which means I have to use. That's not possible. Only four can be in the room. Yes, I know, but as soon as any of them get damaged, because I keep on shooting it, everybody leaves. Yeah. Or, like, one person leaves, the others keep on repairing. You just... Really, you need to divert more uh, resources into weapon power. Or do what I just did. And what I will continue to do, which is use breach missiles, which actually do damage. So even if I don't kill... Or even if I don't take their shields offline, which I should, hopefully, with this next breach missile... Uh, they're taking damage from it anyways. God, if that had missiles in it, I would have accepted that. The fact that I have not killed multiple of their drones is amazing to me. There they go. They're dead. Okay, what am I going to get? Two missiles and 38 scrap, which actually is a better deal than the one I was offered, so I'm okay with that. 
What's in got this beacon? more than enough. Good. You've got a ton of scrap. Why don't you upgrade your weapon systems? Uh, for a very good reason that I will tell you about eventually. Translation, you haven't the fucking foggiest, but you're already in combat, so you can't? Exactly. Okay, and this ship's not going anywhere. Excellent! Uh, it's actually partially because I have no weapon worth upgrading into. I could upgrade into the breach missile, but it's it's kind of... It doesn't seem worth it. I'd rather see what this store has and see if it has a weapon for me. I also need to save uh, scrap in order to go to the store to heal. Show me... There's a scrap recovery arm, but it's kind of late in the game to get one. It's Sector 6. I'm not sure if it's worth it, especially at the cost of stealth weapons or to an automated reloader. Not worth it. Okay, now that I've come to that conclusion, let's go ahead and upgrade this ship. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade that. No. Can I get three of those? No, I can only get two of those. Okay. Well, at the very least, I can have Breach Bomb Mark II loading at the same time as the other two. Let's go into the exit. Okay, I should be able to dodge everything this ship can send at me and warp out before too much happens, though having a fight on my ship is not at all what I was looking forward to. Okay, we're halfway charged already. You, get out of that room. Dodge that. That guy should be dead as soon as he steps on the ship. Yep, and we're jumping into a mantis control sector. Why not? Okay, one thing I do want now is a crew teleporter. You get out of there. I actually significantly want a crew teleporter right now. Because I think I will need that in order to win the next, uh, or win the boss fight. Yeah... I honestly don't see how you're going to be able to survive the boss fight with your... I can, do, I can do it, from what I can tell, but I really need to... Like, I need to get a crew teleporter. That's the baseline of what I would need to make this work. We just lost trance. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I got trance back. Now, where were we? Let's see. I was being attacked by this asshole, and, um... Make sure I'm keeping very close attention, paying very close attention to that fight right there. Like that, to that, to that. Okay. The fact that I missed. Okay, you two leave and go heal. I do not like just letting them run loose inside of there, but I think the best option for me right now is to not bother with those two. And it said just fuck with their ship until they're forced to retreat. But that's the... I said it's... Yep, they're retreating. Yes! That worked exactly as it was supposed to. Now what I need to do, they're going to be doing a fast FT... Are they going to do a potential FTL? Let me get them. Yes, they're delayed. <laughs> that was close. Indeed. I did not want these guys to be able to run. And now they're not going to. Now they're bones. Whew. I did not lose anything either. 48 scrap. Awesome. You two go get healed. Okay. Still have 120 scrap. So if a weapons pre-igniter comes my way, I can use it. Okay, got some teleports, uh, teleport signatures. That's another couple of freaking dick bags. That's the technical term. Indeed it is. Okay, let's go ahead and toss the breach bomb into that room. It misses, so I'm going to have to wait for a few moments. While well, I'm waiting, let's go ahead and try this. Nope, that, I missed time. That. Okay, I'm just watching this fight in here because that's going to go really bad very soon. Let's go ahead and cloak up. Too many shots coming my direction. 
down the shields, please. Thank you. That's going pretty well. Uh, you two, go fix that really quickly, please. Damn it. A laser, take out their, sh their weapons. Didn't quite work, but that's fine. They're going to be boned momentarily. Get you two out of there and go heal. Yes, they have retreated. That's exactly what I wanted to see. You go heal. Okay. Contact civilian ship. Get patched up. Why could that have not... Why wasn't that a, uh, a shop? That would have been so much better as a shop. You go heal up. I don't know if there's a shop within jumping distance. We're going to find out. I don't... Unless I get some really nice item, I don't think there's any chance of me actually getting the achievement for Weapons Preigniter now, but I'd still like to have it. It is truly a wonderful power-up. It's a sexy power-up. What I wouldn't do with that power-up. Disgustingly up sexy power-up. Anyways. Store here. Come on, show me something nice. God damn it, stop giving me systems and people. I don't need it. It's getting annoying. Let's go ahead and jump to this one. That's really all the stores have been. They've either been systems and people or systems and, um, and drones, but nothing else. Which is obnoxious because I need something that is not systems and drones or systems and people. What am I going to find here? Stuff. Okay. I'm okay with stuff. I would prefer things, but I'm okay with stuff. Demand the surrender of these guys' goods. Hey, look. It's another teleport. Trance, were you watching that one episode where I had four teleports and I did I had actual fights? Yes. Did you hear that? I think I watched it on your channel. I swear to God, that was the stupidest thing. I mean, it's kind of funny now, but God, I was annoyed back then. Okay, apparently I have to do this like this, because otherwise they're going to escape. All I need is a couple of hits to land. Neat. Again, all I need is a couple of hits to land. God, seriously. I, I mean, I said something, like, I need a couple of hits to land, and the game went, oh, really? Are you sure? Is that what you need? Got another human. Cheers. That's a distress beacon. I wanted a store. What's this distress beacon? Uh, advanced FTL navigation, which I do not want. Well, I can upgrade my ship. What do I want to upgrade? <laughs> It's like, take your pick. What would you like? Okay. Well, hopefully, uh, it's a sun. And there's people that want to fight me with my ship at a sun. You know what I did find, which I was very happy to see? If, um... If you run out of fuel on a sun and try to jump anyways, you'll jump. you'll at least jump away from the sun very least. You ride the sun blast. Basically. That's basically what it ends up being. Okay, you need to go heal, you need to go heal, you need to go heal, and you need to go step outside of that room. But yeah, it's a... I thought it was a very cool thing. The game's like, you know what? We could be dicks and tell you that you're boned, but we won't. You guys get in there to stop them from completely taking that offline, please. Okay, now you leave the room, and you go rejoin the room, and you leave the room. I need that to remain online. Bomb. 
all I need is the, for that breach bomb to remain online for just a couple more seconds, and it missed. Of course it did. You go back and heal up. Trying to take out these guys before I get taken out myself, but it's becoming a uh, uh, like a gigantic irritant because apparently the uh, combat rules that they're doing seem to consistently roll in the opponent's favor. God damn it! Okay, you go heal up. Come on, give me a breach on their shields. That's another miss. Okay, can I get the heavy pierce online? Yes, can I get the holy pierce online? Okay, all of you, go heal this bullshit. I cannot believe that missed. Okay, we're doing better. Shields, and I miss again. Dodge this crap. Come on, let's get some hits going. That's four misses in a row. Actually, a lot more than four misses in a row. That's actually probably uh, eight misses in a row now. Thank you. This is probably gonna hurt. Actually, I have no doubt this is gonna hurt. Yep, you get out of that room. You go help up. Actually, you stay here. You go help in that room. Along with you two. Uh, nope, not Breach Bomb. Heavy Pierce. Damn it. Hole Laser. Damn it! There we go. Hole Laser. Come on, take those weapons offline. God damn it! Can I get a... Thank you! Sheer amount of misses... Rage growing. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. But at least I'm not taking much in the way of damage. There we go. Okay. Get stuff. You guys go heal. You get back into this room. I'm gonna not have to find my way out. Okay, last stand. Okay, I do need to see more missiles. Missiles are something I need. Is there a store within sight? No, there's only two repair beacon, uh, beacons, too. And that is really rare. Let's go. No, do I want to... I want to... I want to hold on to that. Okay. Let's go jump in this direction. I might see a store on the way to the final boss, and I need missiles. I badly need missiles, actually. So any way I can get kills without having to use missiles would be fantastic. This ship has entirely too much scary stuff on it for my own good. Damn it! Man, I wish I could have a uh, uh, two burst laser marks. God damn it! I have to use another breach bomb, which also misses. Wow. Too many misses. There, finally, we got another hit. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt so much. Wow, how, wow, I mean, I know I've been taking a lot of misses, but that was really lots of misses. Man, I'm at least glad it's an equal opportunity misser that I'm not the only one who's missing these really big hits, but um, wow. This is apparently the game of misses. Come on, let's go. And this is almost like we're playing Battleship. Except you hitting has absolutely nothing to do with you missing. It's just everything's random. So it actually... Well, Battleship isn't actually completely random. There's an algorithm you can follow to ensure victory as long as your opponent isn't following it. Trance, would you stop mathing, please? Okay, got some repairs going, got some missiles. Let's go back out. Let's see. Uh, prepare to fight the rebel ship. That sounds like a good idea. Wait, why am I doing this again? This actually seems like a really bad idea. It seems like I just put myself in a situation where I'm in a fight for absolutely nothing because I have already have everything maximum upgrade and could not use this whatsoever. There's a 
another mid-air uh, collision. That's once again in my opponent's favor. You go heal up. Okay, come on. And another mid-air collision in my opponent's favor. And yes, it actually is in their favor, because the bullets that they're that's being hit would be one that would actually deal damage to their ship. They have little or no chance of actually dealing damage to mine at this point. Until that happens, of course, and then they do have a chance of dealing damage to me. You get out of that room. Actually, I need to just run towards the boss, because I'm not gonna... I'm not getting anything out of these, uh these fights at all. Dodge that, or not. Apparently I dodged too late. Come on. You know what? Screw it. Taking a loss. I'm jumping because this fight's not worth it. Screw this, I'm out of here. And then I go into a worse fight. And a worse fight with no chance of uh, cloaking either. Come on, dodge. Come on, come on, get me out of here, get me out of here. I'm not even going to bother shooting. I'm not going to even do it. And I'm out of here. Store. How did I still take damage? I was warping. The game hates you at this point. This is one of the things that the game isn't fair in. You can be hurt after an event is over. No, no, no. Mid, once the camera pulls back from warping, you're supposed to be invincible. Everything's supposed to miss. That's the one time that's actually supposed nope. to happen. Ship. Upgrade. Damn, I need another upgrade for that. Okay. That's fine. Now I have a crew teleporter, so now I actually do have a chance of being the final boss. Not a significant chance, mind you, but I have a chance. Okay, can we at least make this run worth it? Can we beat the final boss? Can we make all of this annoyance and upset and stress worth it? Maybe. Just maybe. No, 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 we can't. We're boned. But we're gonna try anyways. Because apparently I have nothing better to do. Okay, are we ready? Is this is this okay? Are we ready? I will say, this is a pretty decent setup. Except that should be like that. Okay, come on, come on. Let's do this. Okay. Waiting for them to come back out. We will teleport my men onto their... That weapon. Because that actually is the scariest weapon in their arsenal right now. And dodge that. Need to see a breach bomb hit their shields. Good. Hull laser fire. Heavy pierce fire. I have already killed one of their crew members in their shield bay. And they have an extremely powerful fire raging in there, so I should be able to take them out uh, relatively easily from there. Yeah, their shields are all the way offline. Uh, let's go ahead and fire like this. You two return to me. Go heal up. We no longer... Okay. So the first form is... Or should be just ridiculously easy. Which is actually how it's turning out to be. I've actually killed multiple men on their ship in this form. Which uh, is not actually easy, honestly. Especially with the uh, cloaking device. They might get their shield up in time to stop me from getting them immediately, but I don't think that's how it's going to happen. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. So form one done, didn't even take a point of damage. Only had to use one missile. Uh, so overall, that was good. Let's go ahead and heal up our men. 
you get in here. Now, Form 2 is going to be the problematic one. But with a Breach Bomb, I think we should be okay. This is where he's going? Okay, let's chase him. Okay, you two teleport into that room. And I'm going to hope this works out well, because I still have to deal with that incoming uh, automated drone. Okay, how do I want to do this? Breach bomb here. Okay, hopefully... Damn, that missed. Okay, as long as this thing doesn't hit me, I should be fine. Okay, so ma the major uh, missile weapon has missed. You go heal up. You two go into this room to fight the drone. Okay, I'm waiting for... Dodge this. Get their shields. Okay. I should not need another breach bomb for the duration of this fight. Heavy pierce. Hits. Hull laser. Two hits. Okay. You should be in fairly good shape right now. I'm gonna need these two to go stop him from destroying the true teleporter. But... Okay, you two, go stop him from destroying that, please. You go fix that. Cloaking device is back online. Dodge that. Okay, awesome. Yeah, they're about to go down. You get out of there. Uh, you two get out of there. Go heal up. Okay, that's form two down. Uh, that... Has, this has taken no time at all. This is actually uh, probably one of my better runs. Okay, I need you to go fix this. Trance, this is probably going to happen. Actually, what am I saying? Probably Form 2 is the hardest form. This is, well, for me at least. I don't know for everybody else, but for me, Form 2 tends to be the hardest. So chase them down. Okay. Don't you teleport onto my ship like you own the place. Let's go ahead and just pop up breach drone, see if we can or breach bomb, see if we can take down their shields faster. Okay, you two get into here because I need you to teleport as soon as available. Get the hell over there and fix that problem. Okay, I could take some hits off of this or off of this. Wow. Okay. Well, the good news is, uh, I might actually get through every boss form without taking any damage. And there is no bad news when that is the good news. You two, get off that ship. You're done there. I don't need to do anything else. Come on, fire. Dodge all of that. I'm just going to breach bomb there and see if I can take down that weapon. Uh, let's see, let's heavy pierce their engines. And uh, that's it. We just uh, beat the final boss for the first time without taking any damage whatsoever. And that ship was not a particularly good ship either, so that was actually very cool. Uh, How the hell did you... Di you must have put in a code. No. Uh, I, uh, I got lucky. The 55... Actually, this time, the 55% dodge chance did bear through, and I just dodged everything. Hooray! Yeah, that was... That was ridiculously cool. Well, guys, this has been our feature-length untouchable challenge. And uh, we'll see you next time when we will try to do this exact same thing all over again, but with more achievements. Ta-ta.
Later.